Hey guys, so we have another very special guest with us today. We found the shepherds after they've seen Jesus. So guys, tell us what happened. Well, you know, like, it was like any other day. Ah. Guys, come on, I'm trying to take this interview <laughs> serious. Anyway, we were just like hanging out, me and the boys in the field, and then BAM! Like there was this bright light. You know, it was it was crazy, right guys? Yeah, right? Yeah. It was crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that sounds like something way out of the ordinary on just an average day working out in the field, right? Yeah, you know, it was like, yo, what's up? And then all of a sudden it was like, yo, what's up? Yeah, that's interesting. So what did the angel say? Well, he was like, uh, and then all the other angels were like, uh, and then he said, yo, like, there's this king that was born, and you should, like, totally go see him, because he's going to save you. And I thought, like, man, how is a baby going to save me? But, like, whatever. So I talked to the boys and said, like, dudes, we need to go see this baby. And he was in a manger so we could, like, bring the sheep, too, which was, you know, pretty cool. So this angel said that a king was born and y'all should go see him. What was that like? It was like pretty crazy because we got there and normally they were like in a fa like with their family in the upper room, but they were like sleeping with the animals. And I was like, what? And the boys were like, what? And it was crazy. It was cool because there were like more angels that showed up and I thought maybe we like ate something funny because I told Jimmy that hummus smelled kind of weird, but we ate it anyway. But then like the lady and her boo saw it too. So I was like, yo, this isn't the hummus. This is like real. That must have been a cool sight to see. Seeing angels twice in the same night, being able to come and see the Messiah the savior of the world. Yeah, it was like super crazy. I don't know. God's going to do something cool. It's going to be like a trip, man. Maybe we'll get to see like a miracle or something. <laughs> yeah, if you thought seeing angels was crazy, wait till he heals the blind and makes the lame walk. Oops. Wait, what? He's going to oh do gosh, I can't He's going to do that? Talk. Oh like, gosh, really? Did you guys hear that? Uh, I've said too much. Well, thank you guys for coming out and sharing your story and welcoming us to your, your field. That's all we got time for, guys. So thank you for coming out, or thanks for having us. Yeah, man, like, thanks for having us. It's, it's pretty awesome seeing, like, you guys from the future and all. Like, don't worry, we're not going to say anything. Right, boys? No, yeah, 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 we're not going to say worry. anything. But the sheep, like, they're pretty dumb, so they probably won't remember. <laughs> Come on, you know it's true. Without us, you would have been eaten, like, by a lion or something. You, um, talk to the sheep? Well, yeah, they're, like, people too, man. And they can understand what you're saying. Well, duh. Who else are we going to talk to? The angels? Oh, oh, wait, we did that. But, you know, like on any other day, there's nobody else to talk to. Well, that's pretty interesting. Thanks for having us, guys. We'll see you later. Yeah, like, peace out, man. So there was a lot going on in that conversation. But what I hope you heard from these stories about Jesus is that there's a lot going on. I mean, especially in their day. I mean, they were living a normal, average, ordinary life. 
and God showed them what was happening outside of what they knew. God shows up for us like that too. We are living ordinary people in an ordinary life in some ordinary places. But God shows himself to us in extraordinary ways. I mean, even though things are not ordinary, they're becoming ordinary, and we are waiting on God to show himself in a big, extraordinary way. But the thing is, is we have to, like we talked about last week, actively wait for him. And when he, we do that, God reveals what's been happening outside of our ordinary life, outside of the ordinary things that we do. And his timing is perfect. That's why our verse for this week comes from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. It says this, But that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. I tell you what, I'm waiting on the Lord. Are you? I know that because I'm actively waiting, he will renew my strength. Well, that's all I got for you guys this week. I love you, and I'll see you later. Bye now.